Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the next episode of the DNA Podcast. I'm the maid that's going to steal your man if you don't step your pussy up, Drew Vidu. And I'm your favorite card game playing idol, Sober Oni. And welcome back to DNA Podcast. Where we talk about all things anime. Now, let us start with our new segment titled This Week in Anime. Um, I'm just going to get my name out of the way because Oni's is way more interesting. <laughs> um, so... Lisa, the artist who's seeing the opening for Demon Slayer, for the third time, she ranks one on ranks number one. Her song it ranks number one on the Oricon Weekly charts. Um, this is the third time and fourth week the single is ranked number one since the song's initial debut in April last year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is, so, um, wasn't she here for Anime NYC or they had like at least a concert or something? No. Oh, Pretty dude. sure we had Is something with Lisa. I know. Like, maybe was, maybe yeah, she wasn't there. here, but they like aired a concert or something. Probably something like that. Yeah, yeah they definitely did not. She had to show her. <laughs> she, like, she everyone, was not in the yeah, con. They would have. Wait, what? I said she was not there in person in the con. Yeah, no, they would have. It would have been a whole security issue. Mm. <laughs> I guarantee. <laughs> um, but yeah, it makes no sense. Lisa's a very talented artist. That song is very good, and you know, of course, she can only join the great that are able to do such feats, such as Boa and well, other J-pop artists that aren't Boa, I guess. Boa and everyone else. <laughs> Boa and Ascent, a century. Congratulations, Lisa! You get to join the everyone else. That's <laughs> a Boa. And that is basically my news. Oni, you tell them about your fuckery. Okay, so. <laughs> The second Sedokai Yakuin Domo film is coming out. Uh, it was announced with a July 10th uh, release date, pending, of course, the C word. But the funny thing about this movie, first of all, if you haven't seen Sedokai Yakuin Domo, by, this, by now it's a pretty old series, but go back and watch it. Yeah, go back and watch it's it. It's fucking yeah, hilarious. Unless you're, like, really young, then... Yeah, unless you're, like... First of all, if you're really young, you probably shouldn't be listening to this podcast. Probably, but like, you're like, I would say if you're like a teen, like a young teenager, like 13, 14. Oh, well, that's the perfect age range for the show. Oh, I feel like you'll enjoy is. the hell out of it. It probably, it probably has is. very yeah, juvenile but, sex comedy. But, like, has, but nothing younger than that. Though. Yeah, nothing younger <laughs> than that. But anyway, and this is this this story will give you an idea of what you're in for if you go watch it. The second movie uh, is giving out. You know, you go to a premiere of a movie, they give out stuff like tick, like a uh, memorabilia. They're giving out uh, a card, like a postcard. All right, it's fine. Also, some people will get condoms, special Setokai Yakuindomo movie condoms, and a badge that just says fuck. Talk about branding. <laughs> Oh, wait, this is only going to happen in Japan, I feel like. Yeah, no, it's definitely only happening in Japan. Oh, <laughs> We're not getting no condoms over here. <laughs> I hope so. I just, I can't at least see a picture of the condoms and the badges. Um, I yeah, I'll send you a... Oh, it's just, it has pictures of what it looks like? What they look like? Well, it's in the trailer, at the end of the trailer. Oh my god, yes, please. Um, First of all, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> secondly, if I had a... You, you know, it'd be so great if I had that condom. I would just never, I'd never use it. Yeah, no, that totally just yeah, be there. It'd be uh, yeah, like on my wall, just as uh, in between okay, my figures, like thirty eight seconds in. Yeah, I. What? <laughs> oh, it's four pin that spell out that word, and mm-hmm. they put it out of order. Yeah, and they put it out of order. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed Why? that the condom wasn't personalized. I mean, it does say that has the initials Sedokai Yakuin Domo Two. Oh, up oh, in the corner. Oh, and it has I the release date of the yeah. film. Oh, that's what those numbers are. Mm. I thought it was like random. <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. But then I was like, oh wait a second. I would have liked just to see one of their faces on it. Oh, oh yeah. 
Imagine would, they had collectible condoms and you could just like collect them. I'd buy so many fucking tickets to get all of them. Oh my you god. Each I, of them. Would. First of all, I love oh uh, this looks so stupid. I can't wait. Also, how long are these bitches gonna be in school for? I know, they're in school forever. <laughs> and it's fine. <laughs> they were in school when they were in high school when we were in high school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh man, um, yeah, we did watch this in high school. Oh man, it's a really old show. <laughs> it is a really old show, a really fantastic show. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so that was great. So everyone in Japan, enjoy. Someone wants to send me a uh, a condom or a pin. I guess I'll, I'll link you my uh. <laughs> Yo, for real though, if, you, if, you're, if you're listening to this and you're in Japan and you plan on going to this movie and you can pick up a condom for us, I will love you forever. Oh my gosh, Shotgun Shogun, please, please. please Yo, please. Shotgun Shogun, I know you're there. <laughs> please, please, condoms, please. <laughs> or Kita Sean, Kita, if you're going to be in Japan. Oh, yeah, yeah, get Sean, you too, please. Oh, yeah, oh, all right. Well, from one uh, amazing comedy, shall we move into another one? Yes, yeah, so let's start with our weekly review. And our first episode is Kaguya-sama, season two, episode four. My episode of the week. Again. I guess. <laughs> Again. No, I, didn't this I didn't just make this one mine. So, last okay. week, so I'm safe. Oh, but it is this week, though. Yeah, definitely. Okay. (laughs) It's hard not to. I mean, like, and it's funny because this was a really good week, I think. There was a lot of really good shows this week. Um, yeah, like, there's one show in particular that, like, at least for me, a trail signed. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Not by much. (laughs) Um, but yeah, let's talk about Kaguya-sama. I Um, love Kaguya-sama. Yeah, she really is just that bitch who can steal your man if you're not careful. Luckily, she uses her powers for good. Um, See, so yeah, in the first half, Kaguya gets a little too cheeky. She's like, oh, you think you're such hot shit, huh? I'd like to see you do it. You How think you could that? fuck my man? Try it! <laughs> and then I was, like, I was like, I bet. <laughs> I, I heard people say when we watched the first season, like, oh, yeah, Hayasaka is the best girl. And I always wondered, like, what? She didn't really do much. I mean, I yeah, like her, but she now she's it. like, oh, yeah, I see this. I can, if it was, she actually might usurp Kaguya at this rate. Oh, yeah, no, she's already past Kaguya. <laughs> she's already past Kaguya for you? She's already past Kaguya for me. Yeah, Kaguya, I'm sorry, you're sitting at a cute third place. <laughs> right, I know. Have- Trying to keep, try to keep, maintain at least third place. Try to not be like knocked out of the top three. Oh, if you can, it. is so fucking great. Like, like her multiple personalities. Like at first when she showed up in the beginning, I didn't even recognize her because she just totally fucking changed her look. Mm-hmm. But her little like d- play to get Shogane falling asleep, pretending to fall asleep for three hours. For three hours. <laughs> she was. She was literally pretending to sleep for three hours. She really was working him. Mm-hmm. And he was falling for it so hard. She literally just lying about everything. Everything about her was a <laughs> lie. I love cute animal videos. <laughs> <laughs> she likes seeing, watching things get steamrolled. Yeah. Oh, 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 I don't know anything about computers. Liar, I see you make computers on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm like literally left with no choice but to stand. I, yeah. I think I, I, oh, for me, she, she might even take number one. Like, mm. like I know Chica's like really, like she's she, Chica's really gonna have to pull it out. Mm-hmm. She's the one because Hayasaka, Hayasaka has the, the momentum right now. She does, oh, and man. even at the end, like I thought it was really cute. The end of the first segment where. She gets turned down, and then she's just, like, frustrated and venting. Yeah, she's, upset. Yeah, she's upset because mm. she got shut down. Not even because she likes him. I thought it was going to be something like that. And she's mm. mad just because she got rejected. Now I'm curious if this is going to be a thing where she just tries to get with him. out of Not out of, like, a love for him or anything, but just, like, a pride thing. Like, I need to be able to prove to myself that I can get this guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I feel like that'd be an interesting dynamic, just having her... Try to fuck up Kaguya's relationship. <laughs> just, cause, just cause. Mm-hmm. Just to prove a point. Mm-hmm. I, lo- 
God, I love those all, all those little things that she was doing on the day with um, Shirogane. Like just like the little lean in, the little touch, and you just see Kaguya like twist her paper. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Kaguya <laughs> freaking on the back was great too. Oh my god, it was so great. She was like, "Oh yeah, I love pictures of videos of animals," and she's like, "What is she talking about? <laughs> That's not true." And she's like, "Oh, I can see that." And she's like. Are you fucking buying this? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that really does happen, though, when you have girls, like, putting on cute acts and stuff. Other girls are just oh, yeah. sliding, like, oh, and this bitch. <laughs> first of all, cute, like, men men are just, you guys are just weak to that. Well, you men are, are very easy to manipulate and easy to um, sucker into things. They don't think very much about anything, so. Straight. Like, if I was, well, yeah, fine, straight men. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no. I'm not going to read ten layers into... You know, why this girl's making cutesy eyes at me and talking to me. I'm just going to be like, yes, there's a girl fucking hitting on me. I'm taking this opportunity and letting it rock. She could be a serial killer for all I know. <laughs> why would you say that sentence? You know exactly what that makes you think of. Anyway. <laughs> She's not intending that, but yes, I guess that does <laughs> segue to another part of this fuck. <laughs> um... But yeah, like, she, she really, like, that's why I love her. Like, she easily finessed him into everything, into the, into the lunch and whatnot. Like, mm-hmm. it was, I think she kind of lost it when she was just like, hey, let's, you know, kind of go out. Let's, you can be 90% friends and 10% boyfriend. She was like, I'll be your side piece. You don't even have to be your yeah, main girl. Yeah, like, I'll be your, <laughs> And I was just like, ah, uh, I was like, no, I think like this is where you lose, you lose him. And well, I mean, it was a smart move because most men would have been like, hell yeah, but yeah, but it, this is him. Just yeah, yeah unfortunately, she underestimated him. Yeah, Shigami fucked it up. Ugh. Even later on in the episode, when she showed up in the second part, and she was like, oh, an- her other so other person, great. like Yaru personality. <laughs> yeah. and then and she was still so mad, and mm. she's like, hey, what's up? And he's like, oh, okay. Speak to uh, Shinomiya, and she was like, Yeah, she was like, oh, so she's like, Hey, uh, the president has something to ask you. <laughs> Start the whole second part, mm-hmm. which uh, also was very fun. Just the absurdity of every see, Kaguya does a really good job of being absurd without being too over the top, but still managing to be over the top. Oh, absolutely, like having the news broadcast the confession and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it was on us and us, and then they had, they had, like you said, the newscaster. And it was just like, oh my god, this is the, it's gonna be the greatest thing to happen since like, first <laughs> bread or just bread, sliced bread. Seeing the uh, chica fucking making it worse, like you turned me down for Kaguya. <laughs> yeah, oh, you rejected me because you wanted Kaguya, and then they were like, oh. <laughs> And Kanye yeah, was cute at that part, too, where she, like, leaned in and was like, yes, I'll be your script writer. But also, yes to everything Yes else. to everything else you want to ask me. Yes. <laughs> that was really cute. Um, see, that's why I can't put Hayasaka above Kaguya just yet, because Kaguya has so many of those little cute lovey-dovey moments that I really am a sucker for. Yeah, but, like... Hayasaka is like my spirit animal, so like, yeah. and, like, I, like no, I love the characters. I I stand for her. Like, <laughs> like, like this episode just made me so into her. Like she just she needs one more episode. Like to yeah, episode. if she got and one she, episode more, like where she, I'm I, pretty and, sure she will. Yeah, I will. I will cap her straight to the top. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, Chica. I'm left with no choice but to stand. Speaking, no of, choice, Ch- speaking of Chica, she had her own admirers. This episode. Uh, uh, oh my god. Uh, suck off Chica Club. <laughs> yeah, literally. Jesus. <laughs> god, the president, president, the president is so bad. You're going to get so awful. <laughs> like, but, picking okay. on first year girls. Yeah, right? <laughs> Imagine like... seniors just show up and just start picking on you as a freshman. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Yeah. I mean, that definitely did happen. It I did, but it still it fucked it. up. <laughs> yeah. But, um, oh, excuse me. Yeah, no, Kaguya yeah. was just, it's such a fun show. Like, even with these four episodes, I think it's better than the first season already. Somehow. And the first season is one of my favorite shows, so. Yeah, I agree. This this just, this just this might end up being one of my favorite series of all time. If this trend continues. God, I hope we get to season three. 
Yeah, me, me too. I feel like it has to, though. It's so popular. Exactly. I, and it got the season two, so it's like, once it starts rolling with the season two... Yeah, yeah, you're right. Once the, the ball is rolling, yeah. maybe we'll get a movie or something. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Speaking Let's of which, this, this episode, this episode had, like, god-tier movie animation at some point. So I'm like, am I watching an episode, or is this a leaked movie footage or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Excuse me, but that being said, let's move on to our next episode, Fruits Basket, Season 2, Episode 4. Um, so for starters, fuck this friend person. I don't know who <laughs> she is, I don't know what her story is, and I don't She's give a She's really, crap. really hot, though. I don't give a fuck how- I knew you were gonna say that, I don't She's, give a fuck I, I, Let's hear her out. She's hot enough to get a second opinion. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I really fucked everyone shit up this episode, <laughs> and I'm not here for it. Not on that- like, not only do you fuck with my, like- Basically, like, my second favorite character, Haru, like, mm-hmm. like, she also just goes down, she indirectly just triggered, like, she just goes, she just brings up everyone's trauma, in one way or another, through her, indirectly, because mm-hmm. she doesn't want to stay at the fucking hospital anymore, bitch, go get hey, your medication. Hey, 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 hey. I know it's probably, it's probably, I know it's probably an awful reason, but stop capping for her. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I understand Haru's rage. You know how fucking mad I'd be if she broke up with me? I'd, I'd also be throwing chairs out the window and shit and punching <laughs> punching Kill in the face. Pretty good broke up with you before. Not that pretty. Oh, ooh, okay, well. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I, for a second there, you know I'm kind of getting the vibes. I'm getting, what? I'm getting a lot of uo uo x kyo shipping. Mm-hmm. I feel like I know. I feel like I've seen it before, but it's like I kind of saw a little more this episode. Yeah, like it, yeah. A little more of an undertone. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, uh, it was just like, oh, you know, we want we are me. It actually means something. We actually want you to be here. We want you to come. And then he's like, huh? And then she's like, okay, I'm going back to being a bitch now. <laughs> like, they have a cute oh, dynamic. Yeah, they're not really cute. If they, if she wasn't already, I mean, if he wasn't already taken by Toru, I can see that working. But no, yeah, sorry, no. Toru. <laughs> Toru has him on lock. Especially after this episode. <sighs> yeah. Because speaking of, Haru goes on his rampage after what Oni said. This Rin bitch over here. God, I feel like I almost hate most girls named Rin, except for Tosaka. The one big um, Rin. Yeah, the, literally. No, um, no, Kokonoi Rin from Kodomo no Jikan. Yeah, exactly. I like only one Rin, so. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I love all the Rins. Why are all the Rins so hot? Ugh. Um, yeah, Haru goes back. I, I love when they're like, Oh, what's going on? He's like, he literally says, I'm on a rampage, can't you tell? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm destroying stuff because I'm mad. Hello. <laughs> no, I love, the, I love the first part where the whole opening, like, four or five minutes of the episode where they're just fucking around and the Momiji comes in and it's just like, why did you come here, Momiji? Oh, yeah, Haru's yeah, destroying it. Yeah, Haru's <laughs> on a rampage. Bathroom, so I liked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah no. and then Harwood was great at the end too with, his, with with Yuki showing up and he just comes and takes a selfie with him peace yeah. Yuki put up the peace sign peace <laughs> yeah Har- oh fuck I love Haru mm. oh I love Haru like he is, he is yeah he's definitely oh he is definitely second best I would say he's, I would say he's first man oh my god when Kyo <laughs> punched Dark Toru and gave me that look. Oh, mm. moist. Moist. Yeah, no, Kyo yeah. was... Kyo Dread. somehow always manages to be... Even in episodes where he's not the main focus, he always happens to just have, like, the best scene in the episode. Oh, I was drenched. Oh. <laughs> and the fact that it was 80 degrees did not help, but... Oh. <laughs> See, this, um, this show has something for everyone. You got to mm-hmm. fawn over... 
Kyo, I got the final over Rin. We all oh, win. Man. Yes. Even if the show has Rin, we <laughs> somehow will win. Oh, well, you know uh, they're going to give her some crazy backstory. I know, know. yeah, it's going to go bad. And they'll come back next week and feel like, yeah, shitty person. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, <laughs> like I said, I'm just like, you know what? I still say fuck that. Is she a Zodiac animal? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh yeah, no, you fucking, you fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I know. You exactly. <laughs> just have a story exactly. like her mom yeah. tried to kill her. That's why she's in the hospital. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, First of all, Momiji, speaking of everyone looking so cute, Momiji, when he did that cute pondering face, like, oh, something's wrong, I'm like, whoa, he became, like, the most prettiest character in the show. Like, that one <laughs> shot. Prettier than all the guys and girls, easily. That's that's a tough build. There's so many really, not even like hot, <laughs> just like really pretty characters in this show. Yeah, male and no, female. but that one, but that one side <laughs> angle, he looked so fucking pretty. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I don't know. Like something clicked in my brain. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> that's how he gets you. That's his. That's his trap. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, like, he looked, yeah, he like he he entered hardcore territory. Like, <laughs> Because yeah, and the, and the and the girl squad it did not, mm. it did not, it did not hurt. <laughs> mm. Um, yeah. But speaking of which, can we talk about how kind of not down for like all of this incest? I'm not down for this incest. There's a lot of incest going on. What you like, mean between the, between Haru and Rin? Now it. D- yes. Now I understand in the first one. Oh, I forgot the name of the doctor. Like the Doctor Zodiac. Oh, I don't. I don't remember his name. I just know he's yeah, a dragon. Name. Exactly the sea dragon. Mm. Um, that was I even mean, that was weird, but that was fine because it was like well, um, they're like dragon. distant he's cousins. Like super, 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 super distant. I'm super mm. on the po- on the totem pole, and we're from different sides of the family. Even saying that sentence sounds weird. Mm. I just said it's from different sides of the family. I mean, you still family. <laughs> it's okay. Stop. I'm your mom's side. Stop. Stop fucking your cousins. <laughs> Stop. This is why you guys are miserable, because you're incestuous. It makes sense. <laughs> That's why everyone's so that sad all the time. I'd be sad, too, if, like, if I knew that all my parents fucked my uncles and aunts. I, I find the whole setting mother. weird that it's like yeah, they have a basic village of their like because they have a whole people. estate that is just their family in this villa fucking each other. <laughs> yeah, <I'm a laughs> and no one is questioning. Government's not questioning this. Students hey, at the school not are not questioning this. Like not like the Zodiacs fucking each other. That's wild. That I that I can't do. That I can't do. <laughs> Like it's like, oh, you guys are family, family. Yay. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Wait. I mean, no, it's still disgusting that they're dating because they're because they're both the zodiac. But I'm saying maybe both of their parents could have like dated outside the family. So and maybe somehow just, like, I'm guessing that's not the case. <laughs> Is no, that like rare have- for them? Like it's rare that they marry outside the family or something. Um, because if you marry outside the family, you gotta bring your family member back in. And then they gotta like, see this whole crazy fuck village that you have going on with this crazy cult leader who beats you up. <laughs> mm, I this is basically I, a cult. Now that I think about it, this is yeah, just a giant ass cult. It's super, it's super <laughs> culty because and th- I'm so glad you said that because this is a great segue to talk about and <clears throat> listen, you. Shout to the old, disgusting ass, fucking rapey. I'm helping my rapist live, old lady, trying to convince Yuki to go back to Akita. I hope you literally expire in the most horrible yet funniest way possible. How dare you imply that after all of like th- see now Yuki may not be my favorite person, but the- I feel like that was so disgusting. Like she was like, Oh, you must go back to Akito. Like you're just you're just making just things bad. Like that that weird keeping the status quo R. Kelly raping <laughs> enthusiast. I don't give up. I don't care. She's lucky her. you weren't there. I feel like you would have punched her in the mouth. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> What'd you say to Yuki? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, no. Oh, you, you nasty bitch. You are nasty. How dare you? I'm hoping. I know, I know you, because I know she knows all this shit that Akito was doing to Yuki, and she still had the nerve to say something so bold, so gross, so ugh. Like you can tell by her, you can tell by the tone of her voice. She knew what was going on, but she absolutely was like, "But the family." Mm-hmm. Yeah. I kind of hope this this series ends with like Kyo going on a rampage and fucking ripping people apart. And I literally so hope, with I, really hope, I really hope he just eventually gets mind broken and just becomes a terrorist and blows. His <laughs> just blow, blow, throw the whole thing away. He just goes. <laughs> to me, he finally goes to meet Akito and he just has like a bomb strapped to his chest. Like we'll be together forever now, Akito. Okay, I didn't say kill himself, but. <laughs> Thing, you know, how about, how about we take out them cousin fuckers once and for all? <laughs> Man, like, we always that, go on tangents with this show. We always go. That's so, that's so gross. It actually got me pit. Like it actually got me my feelings because you just remind me of all those, cre- like all those creepy women who are like helping like the R. Kellys and Nappies of the world like try to thrive even after they get exposed for being like the worst is like oh and i just i felt so bad for yuki like he's literally like he literally <laughs> all, he was just trying to talk to haru and check up on him why did this bitch have to come out and like just mentally scar him why why he was already going through it because he's reliving the mur- he literally almost threw up before he even crossed through the gates jesse's friend and she's like you know what you know what's great I'm going to put pressure on you. You know, <laughs> but putting pressure on a kid to return to be so your like cousin can like torture and or sodomize you. Like, hooray! I mean, no offense. I know. I feel like that's exactly what's gonna happen once he's eighteen. So, if you he's lucky. So I'm getting the the sense that you don't like this old woman. Is that correct? No. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Just here's a hunch I got. <laughs> um, but yeah um i'm gonna go back to something that you said you're like oh this episode wasn't really keo focused i would actually make the case that though know, while this is Haru's story it i think it was a mix of everything which they don't do often it's That's usually true. very leaning towards one person but no, it's focused on keo feeling like a hypocrite because he's telling haru to like you know Stay, to stay away from Toru and telling Toru to stay away from Haru because he's dangerous. And then he's thinking of all like that time where he went literally beast mode and smacked the shit out of her. And then there's Yuki like, oh, time to take over my friend. Too bad to go back to his house and suffer horrific flashbacks and then have this woman like, you know, trying to convince me to go back to being literally tortured every day so you know i feel like they both definitely dealt with things they just dealt they just did through her story yeah i, mean, I just I, I agree with that but yeah so good episode I, overall yeah it was it, it was but fuck that fuck that one <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we have <laughs> <laughs> Power of God, episode five. <clears throat> so, uh, Oni called it his his bag. His bag, Kun's bag, has the ability to copy things. Yeah, and it's so fucking broken. Yeah, it, it not only can it copy things; it's also impenetrable. Also, it apparently can fit any person in there too in there this whole ass team oh yeah i just (laughs) smuggled the two uh, smuggled the team in here with us so that they can fight for me because i keep them safe i'm just like that's crazy also really cool though Mm -hmm. um but yeah kun was just so like oh he was so badass like i'm i feel like he's starting to be my favorite character like yeah he was really just flaunting it the whole first half of his episode like he was like laying down the throne and oh sitting on first of all I there was some strong Kun X Bam shit. he was literally sitting on Bam's lap at one point exactly <laughs> he was like leaning on it's like laying down on like, mm-hmm. lab, leaning on him 
coming up, being like, we don't have to fight now. Let's <laughs> I want to be here comfortable. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and then him putting his hair up in a ponytail, bitch, that's a whole mood. Um, <laughs> I, I, if, <laughs> I'm about to be like, if I don't see him do put his hair up in a ponytail again, I'm, done, I'm throwing the whole show away. <laughs> Did he keep it? I didn't. I, for, I didn't forgot to check for it after the whole um, fight finish. I am not. I think he still had it on by the end of the episode. Cool. I hope he keeps it. No, he's definitely not gonna keep Aww. it. But he, he should though, because he literally just like it's like he just tra- like once he tied his hair up, he just transformed somehow. He was just like, now I'm that bad bitch, Kun. What's up? And I'm just like, yes, I I stand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks cuter than whatever the fuck Rachel's doing or her thing. <laughs> with her, with not, her, with her messy hair, with her very basic blonde bitch ponytail. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Rahel. It feels, feel, yeah, feels <laughs> Rahel. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of speaking of her team in a what in a weird twist ends up helping her. Yes, I mean, helping her. Sorry, helping, helping Bam. Bam, but like. Not doing a good job of it. <laughs> yeah. Also, apparently she can't fight because she just got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Yo, homegirl with the staff, she's like, no, I must protect him. Wow. <laughs> and he's like, I'll protect you. And I think he gets hit once. Yeah, he does. He gets. He mm-hmm. also gets knocked out, but then... Then he goes super thin. Um, also, I guess he doesn't have his sword anymore because there was a little short shot of uh, a knock holding his sword at the end while he was unconscious. So. Fuck that. Oh, I guess he has no weapon anymore. <laughs> oh, you mean the, 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 the green lizard the green girl. Mm-hmm. girl? Oh. Yeah. It was like a really quick shot while they were talking. And I, I was like, Ooh. I mean, I'm not mad about it because he, he didn't block the sword. He didn't block the, the staff with the sword. He literally just dove in front of it. Like you literally have a weapon. You literally have a weapon to block. You why would you just not block? I don't understand. I'm kind of curious how he's gonna actually like. Well, now that he doesn't have a sword, obviously he can't fight. But I'm curious uh, if they're gonna actually make him a fighter. I feel like he's going to learn some tricks. Like now he went Super Saiyan, he's going to be like, oh, let's learn how to use your. How was it like Shinsui or mm-hmm. something? The the magic water that your magic water. Yeah, but like I just feel like because the team, the team already has a fighter in Rock. Then you have a cunning, smart, crafty guy in Kuhn. I You can yeah, I guess that makes like they all have their designated roles. Like he would be support. Yeah, he'll just be like emotional support. He'll just be like, come on, guys, emotional support. <laughs> if we can do this. We pull together. <laughs> uh... <laughs> But yeah, I don't. I don't know if it's gonna be that type of anime where it needs to rely on fighting to do much. Like this is why I like this show because it kind of, even though this episode did have fighting and it was flashy, yeah. it doesn't need to be because it's still intriguing and interesting enough, and it has enough of a mystery to it that it's like even if it doesn't have fighting, I'm still like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? This is great. So yeah, I'm really intrigued uh, by the mystery. The last part of of this episode is very spicy. Hmm. And it was just it was just talking between like the two administrators, um, Lidoro and I don't know the name of the other dude. Uh, it's kind of samurai-ish looking dude. I wouldn't say samurai. He's something it's very. Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> um. I got some. I'm feeling like Game of Thronesy vibes. Yeah, it's getting Game of Thronesy. Like there's definitely like a politics. Yeah, there's heavy happened. political overtones in this where it's like, we gotta pick sides and we're gonna deceive each other and stuff. Yeah, because now, now the little, he's caught up in a catch-20 because he's like, oh shit, we have someone with who can like use this magic water but like can't control it. No, I and now little is like, he has to decide whether Bam is so much of a danger for him to climb the ladder. You know, whether or not people can get hurt because he just might, ah, and then blow everyone up. <laughs> Blows up the tower. Yeah, because apparently it was so, the explosion was so, like, immense that <laughs> everyone's like, here's a three-day bla- a break, excuse me, 
a three day break. Like I'm like, God damn, everyone was <laughs> fucked up for that long, huh? I mean, other, I mean, everyone else got fucked up in all the other matches as well, so it mm. makes sense. Kind of a disaster of a test, if you ask me. Yeah, it kind of it didn't go so well for anyone. No one, no one won. So my multiple injuries. <laughs> I mean, at least no one died. Free. I think a couple of people died based on those injuries. No, only a homegirl got her face ripped off. I'm um, sure she's alive. Miss mm. Miss the, the, the fucking Boldo lookalike mm -hmm. spandex. But yeah, no, I'm. I I've heard something happens soon. Like every time I talk to somebody, they don't spoil it, but they're like, "Oh my god, shit's gonna hit the fan." She's gonna hit the fans. I'm like really hyped for next week if it yeah, indeed hits the fans. Yeah, I'm generally like always looking forward to next episode. Like once episode like two or three happened, I was like, I was like, I'm in. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm already in. I'm hooked. Yeah. All right. Uh, if we have nothing else to say. Let us move on to my life as a villainess episode five. More Mary being cute and perfect. And falling in love with Katarina, like every <laughs> Yeah, like every episode. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone falling in love with her. I didn't, um, I wasn't too, I was a little disappointed by how they handled the her being ostracized because she's so special. Like, oh, you're so special that we're going to treat you differently. Like, it kind of felt weird. Like, there was no... Like, what happened to her father? Did he leave? Did he divorce the mom because she had yeah, to... Yeah, like, what happened to... Yeah, I that thought... Was much I needed to, like, ask. I was like, I want to see your mom here. I want to see your dad. And Why is your mom so depressed all of a sudden? Like, I get that she got more attention and people were, like, rumors and shit, but I feel like... Yeah, and why? Why would you press your mom? <laughs> yeah, why would and why would your mom like take that out on you? Yeah, it didn't really make especially if they were such a happy family beforehand. I thought what they were gonna do because the the two girls that came up and were like in the beginning of the episode to Katarina and were like, oh, did you hear that she her father was a noble and only because they got playing up that only nobles have children who can use magic. I thought the father was gonna leave because the, he thought his wife had an affair with some noble guy and that. Katarina, I thought they were going to go that full drama angle with it. But... Yeah, kind of just stopped at some point. <laughs> like, when she was sad, mom was also sad. We mm. were sad. We were sad together. And then these bitch ass kids didn't want to eat my cookies. Fuck those kids. Why didn't they want to eat her cookies? They're free cookies. They're free. Yeah, the free fucking yeah. cookies. No, well, I'm not going to eat your cookies. You use light magic. Fuck out of here. <laughs> magic. Magical. In middle school. <laughs> If someone came in being like, "Hey, yo, you want some cook? Y'all want some cookies?" Everyone would have dogged them shit. <laughs> yeah, unrealistic kids. <laughs> kind of weird ass bullying is this? I bought you cookies for you guys. We are gonna eat your cookies, bitch. Even, <laughs> even, um, even like from like the weirdest kid brought them. To, mm -hmm. Like we're still eating them. Yeah, they're cookies, and they're kids. Of course, they eat the cookies. Uh, I just felt like it was a weird angle to go for. <laughs> yeah. Also, I thought the mom was going to commit suicide <laughs> in that one scene. I was like, why, like, why you look? Why you almost even more depressed than your daughter? I don't. Mm -hmm. know. Oh God! Good thing Katarina brings happiness and love and joy Thank everywhere God. she goes. Yes. But it seems Maria's bullying doesn't stop in her past. It also happens at the school. But Karina rushes to her defense. And in that moment, you can just tell that Maria wants to smash. Like, yeah. It, it is, it's basically concrete at this point. <laughs> you know, honestly, all the girls kind of, you know, they all want to beat the box, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. I did like the... Uh, the her actually getting to use her magic effectively this episode. The little Earth Bump. <laughs> Earth Bump go! <girl. laughs> Knock her ass over. She's like, oh god, I'm losing my balance. <laughs> There's a slight <laughs> protrusion in the ground. No! <laughs> god, she's so stupid. <laughs> um, But yeah. Yeah, this episode... I mean, the 
the beginning of it was good, but then once they kind of did the backstory, that's when it definitely got weak. It was like, I kind of got that feeling of like, all right, I'm kind of waiting for this episode to end. Yeah, it kind of sunk in the middle. The ending was funny, though, when she got back home and her mom was like, the fuck is going oh, on? Yeah. Get a farm? Yeah, Katarina's mom is hilarious. She's like, <laughs> she's like, where the fuck? Where did I, where did I go wrong? See, I like Mary as a character because she's, like, wholesome and pure and cute or whatever, but oh, I feel like she's the most boring. definitely Maria. Is it Maria? I thought it was Mary. Yeah, it's definitely Maria. Oh, Maria. She's so boring. I can't remember her name. Maria is she's she's by far the most boring character. I'm sorry, like all the other characters have an interesting, fun quirk. Like I want to see more of the guys fighting each other for Karina and her being oblivious to it. I want to see G- Giardo realizing that Maria is in love with her. Yeah, or something that's like that. That's what I wanted from last week. That's why I said I thought it was gonna happen last week. That's kind of what I wanted this week. Oh, Mary's but... the other one. Mary's the redhead. That's why. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. See, but even oh, Mary, oh, 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 Mary is oh, oh, oh. also very fun. See, they're all fun except for Maria. Well, she's fun because she's basically just like, oh my god, Karina, please let me fuck you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's kind of her personality at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, this was definitely was one of their weaker episodes so far. Yeah, I agree. But you know, hopefully next week it'll be better. Not so much background story. I think they they they're finally done doing that now. They should or they should be because all the characters or are so. in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they should probably have more plot stuff happening soon. Uh, yes, more more people <laughs> lusting over Katarina and Katarina being dumb about it. Let the harem wars begin. Yes, agreed. All right, we're ah, done with that. Let's move into the this clusterfuck of an episode. Mm. Yo kite kure, episode five. Yes. Yeah, so, was there actually a murder going on in that one scene? Yeah. That was real, right? Okay. That was just really, really random and weird. It was not random. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I know it links back to her old boyfriend and that, that was him, right? That was her old boyfriend. That was it. That was, that's what gagged me because it didn't... Cl- well, I think that was supposed to happen. Like, mm-hmm. You were supposed to be like, is that? Mm-hmm. And then she's... And as the girl's like listening... Mm-hmm. And then she's like... this. And then he's like, this voice. And I'm just like, I was like, wait a minute. Is this the same, like, you find out, is this the same Mitsuo? I think and it is. Like, no, it is. It is. Mm-hmm. And he's about to get killed by a woman because he did the same thing that he did to to Minare. Yeah. That that alone, oh, that was contender for episode of the week. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's... Because they showed them in the in the first episode too. It was also, I think, it was her as well, the same girl listening with Mitsuo to the her first radio broadcast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're being all nice and lovey dovey, like oh, Mitsuo. Yeah, yeah. So good continuity. That yeah, that is. Uh, I was like, oh, this is almost episode of the week. <laughs> <laughs> she she unknowingly saved her oh, ex and yeah, stopped her yeah. ex's murder. <laughs> Uh, it was fun. It was really weird. <laughs> it was, really it was weird, weird episode. It was so jarring. That was so jarring. That was very jarring. Jarring. I really don't know how, to, how I felt about that. <laughs> I'm also glad that he clarified the premise because the way they they explained it made it make a lot more sense. Because before I was just like, "What is this radio segment where they just go crazy?" But no, like they explained like, "Oh, and like Orson Welles." First off, props to mentioning Orson Welles in anime. Good job, but. The way that they explained it with Orson Welles, like, oh, we're going to do, like, a scenario, and I'm like, oh, that, that could work. That could be, like, a fun little radio play. So Yeah, and I feel like at the beginning, they don't really tell you what's happening in, like, the scene where she's about to kill him. Because mm-hmm. I think there's a part where, I don't know, I feel like you couldn't really tell if that was, like, her just kind of pretending, like, acting it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then they both look over, and then they yeah, hear Yeah, they hear the talk. voices and stuff. Poor guy must be going, cr- like, he has the shittiest, like, I know he's a shitty dude, but 
No, <laughs> that was so weird. Bad. I don't feel bad for him, but up. he had a that's a really weird experience to go through. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, it really is. That is one for the book. My first, my new girlfriend was gonna kill me. My ex girlfriend stopped her because she was reenacting my murder on the radio at the same time I was trying to be murdered. <laughs> <laughs> like this dude is like the fuck is going on in my life maybe he'll reevaluate his life now and be like no he won't you know why <laughs> why cause at the end which proves that he literally is just a scumbag he was like he's like huh even though a homegirl just like jumped out a window or <laughs> fell over somewhere like you can hear them you can clearly hear them from his room mm. yeah yeah cool. right. yeah and meanwhile he's like huh I wonder where they're going to notice that I'm here. I'm like, oh, well, I don't really? blame him for that. If my killer almost tr- killed me and then jumped out a window, I'd be like, fuck that person. Come help me. Yeah, he's an awful human being. So <laughs> I don't feel bad for him in any way. Yeah, but then, but then, yeah, that's... But then after that, it's so funny because after that, he switches to some random... Yeah, <laughs> that was jarring. That I that was I, I I like, and it's funny because that happened. I looked away for literally a minute. A half yeah. a second, yeah. and I look back, and she's yeah. talking about aliens. I'm like, yeah. did this jump that episode skip or something? What the fuck is going yeah. on? <laughs> no, she went. But then it was cool, because it all kind of looked back together. <laughs> kind of. And it was all ad-libs. <laughs> it was all ad-libs. Oh, my God. Oh, that was so great. And then she had a little dream. <laughs> that was so good, her alien dream. Or... <laughs> oh my god, with the, the, the turtle shitting in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I screamed. I, 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 I had to go. I had to go. Oh my god. I'm kind of like, I'm shipping her in Mizuho now. Oh yeah, this is the beginning. Like when she got. That was actually very nice of me not a mm-hmm. like also get her cake a cake mm-hmm. and then she gets so sad because like no you already gave her a cake <laughs> and then she's like no it's okay you can celebrate twice and then she's like oh i want to make love to you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then she's like can we have 10 minutes and he's like no we can't have 10 minutes and then i love it cuts to them <laughs> the like, party had to the shit. caption <laughs> yeah they're like, they gave her 10 minutes because she started co- complaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is one of those shows that really, it's just like Hinamachiri in that it's people need to watch it. It's going to be super underrated that no yeah. one's going to watch it, but you guys yeah. should really watch this show. Yeah, it's yep, 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 yep. yeah. It is very and it's funny. so unique and different from all the other oh shows. Oh my god, it is, it is a very... Yeah, it is quite the show. It's very funny. <laughs> It is very funny. Um, wait, what else happened? Oh, and then at the end. So I think they confirmed that she's like actually like leaving her job like at the end. Oh yeah, because she said she was gonna actually go ahead on with the uh, radio. Yeah, career. I think she. I think she. I think she heard his reaction, mm. and then she was like, "Oh yeah, you're 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 definitely fucking the other girl." Also, the yeah. other girl, like, totally just looked away <laughs> at the same time. That was really cute, too. Yeah. She's like, would you actually do it? And she's like, what? How can I answer a question like that? And mm-hmm. she's like, oh, yeah, that's offensive. You're... And she's like, you're guilty. And, mm-hmm. <laughs> and she's like, I quit. <laughs> well, so I like... it's a happy ending for all of them because she gets to pursue her radio career. And he, the other guy, gets a really hot girlfriend. No offense to Minari, but the other girl's, like, super hot, so... Uh, I'm sure she's uh, also crazy, but she's super hot for the time being. She's... I don't think she's ugly. I just don't think she's hotter than Minare. Really? Mm, no, I no. like her more. I don't know. I think when it comes to people, I like... Like, your personalities kind of have to... They kind of have to do something with it. <laughs> Minare doesn't have a great personality. <laughs> she doesn't, but she's so liberated, relatable and mm. funny. So I think that's kind of I'm a little biased towards her. Mm-hmm. You know, the whole girl. Well, you know me. I like I like she doesn't, quiet. She doesn't, she's not. She's not. There's nothing super standoutish about her in terms of her attractiveness. Well, like, she has a super sexy body and nice long hair. She basically just has all the physical attracting like points that I like the most. Really long hair, sleek body, kind of mature looking, quiet, subdued personality. Um. Uh, yeah. I. I she hits all I, my charm I, points. I guess. 
I guess. But yeah, fuck, fuck that fuck boy who's still trying to like keep <laughs> her from like, no, don't leave. Nice. She's like, no, go back. Like, go fuck your your whatever girl, your crazy girl. Have fun <laughs> with her. I'm going to be living my best life. You know. Doing radio, and you're just gonna have to be mad about it. Yeah. Deal with it. Deal with it. <sighs> I didn't like that. That was a great way to end that episode. It was. All right. Now let us move on to Shadowverse. Yeah. You know, this is the one episode I'm. I think like, this is like my favorite episode because it did not show the main character. Yeah, I was going to say, this was also really probably the best episode they've had so far. Yeah. Unfortunately, it was a girl-on-girl episode, which I kind of hate those because it's like the the slight the slight misogyny of it all. <laughs> yeah, so because only one girl can take down, take down the other girl, of course. Eh, it's like it's only a trope at this can... point. Huh? It's a new trope at this point. The only time that they, the only card game anime I knew, I know that kind of did away with that was Yu-Gi-Oh with Mai. But even yeah. then, Teo was kind of just always fighting girls. Yeah, exactly. It's, and that was trash. So I, I know it's a trope. I still don't like it. But I, I will, I will let it pass if they actually let her fight other characters too. Men, men, yeah. or even other. I don't care as long as they we see everyone fight. Like I don't want this to just be about. Main character, I forgot his name already. Because he's so fucking forgettable. Hito. What? Kudo? Hiro. Oh, Hiro. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, I should remember. It's such a generic name. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I also forgot. I was. I looked at the Shadowverse thing. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Yeah, it is kind of misogyny is sticky, but it was a good episode. <laughs> it was a good episode. No, you're right. It was a good episode because I didn't have to see him. You're also, right. she's really, she's really dumb. I love I love Kaede, but she's kind of or not Kaede. What's her name? Mimori. 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 Yeah, Mimori. Mimori, but she's kind of dumb. Yeah, I'm like, of course they would give this girl Forrest, which I feel like is kind of that's a little disrespectful. Like Forrest, <laughs> Forrest, for I feel like Forrest in a lot of the ways, with the exception of a few cards, is like similar to Bloodcraft, where they just keep making. Stupid broken cards, but the but the main difference is that Forrest doesn't get nerfed. Forrest doesn't get nerfed because no one wants to play their stupid decks. <laughs> also, <laughs> that card is broken. <laughs> that new Forrest card that she, she that she used is broken as fuck. Um, that's literally just a Isn't three. It Al- it's like Amaz, Amaz, right? That's just Amataz. That's just a three. That's the, that's a, that's a more expensive Amataz. It's actually not really. If you combine it with like Wisp and stuff, and you already have some fairies on board, but like, mm, I it's not okay. Hmm. Wait, does it count itself as a fourth card if you play it? I don't think so. They usually don't count themselves. So, so that card is, cards, yeah. So it's, so it's a it's, five drop. I it's argue, fine. no, because the only way you can use it is basically by like turn eight minimum. Turn eight, turn nine. But yeah, but you use it and you get a board it's full of fairies that have like, like three ones with storm or some shit. Like, yeah, but you'd have to run like a super storm deck just so you can get them down f- just for that, like, just so you can get that lethal. Yeah, I mean it's not as broken as the other cards that they showed, but still yeah. kind of, kind of up there in power level. I like you could build a deck around it. Eh, you could, like I, I guess it would be a good deck with along with Amataz, it'd be pretty strong. I would say. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, excuse me. I was like, I'm trying to think of where, really quickly of ways it can work with other cards, but I can't really think of too much. Like it's, it's all right. It's I. <laughs> But, um, no, actually, it would work really well because Amatas can buff the fairies in the hand and then she can just. Yeah, then she can. Just... Exactly. Hmm. Hmm. But, yeah. So that's it. That was, that was an interesting card. Uh, well, not interesting card. It's not an interesting card because it's the same <laughs> shit. But it was a decent match. I don't like that Shadow Girl didn't get her uh, spell. I mean, her new card. I want to yeah. see her. Like, they're probably going to save it for when she has a fight against somebody. And they're like, oh, okay, I'm Hero. Gonna... Now I'm fighting Hero, the actual. Yeah, now that I got to take match. this seriously. 
Uh, By the way, that was a shit costume. All she did was put on glasses. And remember, it was it was the yeah. Clark Kent effect. I have glasses. Yeah. No one can recognize I mean, you, me. You, got, you did it all the time. And... I know, but still, it was absurd. She was literally uh, standing next to a poster of herself in the beginning. Uh, yeah. Cut out. Hey, do you want to meet her? Do you want to meet this girl who looks Good exactly ball. like me? Good <laughs> she was super creepy. Like if she was like five years older and a dude like that, mm-hmm. I like Memory would have called the cops. Yeah. Hell, Memori probably should have called the cops. That was really weird. She was like, hey, just come with me and I'll show you her. Like, <laughs> ugh, ugh, can you not, though? But uh, Alice was good. I really liked Alice. She's voiced by um, Yui Ogura. I do. One of my favorite voice actresses. So. Oh, who does who she also voice? Uh, I need to know. know. Um, I don't know if you name you know. You don't know. You don't know Neptunia, right? No. Neptunia? You mean the game? Yeah. Oh, is she like the main character? She does Rom. No, not the main character. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think I can name anything you would know. She always usually plays like lowly characters. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, um, she has a distinct voice. But yeah, no, I like. I think Alice is probably my favorite character. Mm-hmm. She's very fun. She is fun. I like that she plays Shadow because Shadow. I was hoping that I, I I kept thinking she was doing portal for some reason probably because her hair. Yeah, color. I kept I kept. I know you kept telling that. me that she wasn't. <laughs> Told you. But yeah, no, I I'm glad that, that she's doing shadow because at least yeah. it's fun. Yeah, she was like, haha, look at my little doggies. I, like she's she's being cute with like all these gross ass looking things on the field. Mm-hmm. And look at my skeleton dog from hell. Isn't he adorable? Oh, she's guy? the she's the main protagonist in. Uh, um, Goblin Slayer, the main girl. Oh. Uh. Mm-hmm. But, you know, so I'm glad she's doing Shadow. Uh, I kind of thought she was, I thought she had a nice interaction. Actually, become becomes the main character because I liked her and Minami's interactions with each other. Those were cute. Yeah. I hope she comes back. Also, not getting to see, like, see, that was good because this episode, like you said, didn't focus too much on Hero and them, so I didn't have to deal with his stupid attitude. Yeah, we just had to, they just talked about ramen. ramen recipes or ramen ideas, and I'm just like, damn, I want some Asian cuisine, <laughs> right now, which I did buy. Oh, so good. I, that Uber Eats coupon I told you, bitch, mm. I got a whole hibachi and then some. <laughs> My only, my only, the only thing I regret is that they didn't have dessert. Cause I kind of want some mochi ice cream right now. Oh, well, you tried to, you have like a full four course meal out here. Oh no, I bought a lot of food. That Uber Eats thing <laughs> came in clutch. I got like, I got um, ginger duck with the vinaigrette. Um, I got the normal chicken hibachi set. And then I got... Um, what was the last one? I think it's my receipt. <laughs> I got honey walnut crispy chicken and shrimp. Ooh, so bougie. I had macaroni and cheese with some chicken nuggets. That was my dinner. Listen, I, <laughs> listen my commoner I just, food. I just wanted to treat myself because <laughs> no one's gonna love me but me. All right, <laughs> treat me and my mother. Like I was like, I know my mom likes eating different things so i'm like i'm like here here's here's a whole <laughs> range of foods that you may or may not want to try i had to break out the cupboard and be like what do i have in here macaroni and cheese chicken nuggets we got ourselves a meal Let's oh did go. you actually cook it for yourself no my mom did oh, <laughs> 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 oh god yeah that's nice i hope well i'm sure yours is just as good mm, yeah Good thing about not having a discerning tongue is that yeah, it was just as good. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I'm I'm glad I am glad you did. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's move on to our last episode of the podcast, Tuaru Kagaku no Rogan T, episode thirteen. Kuro um, laid the bitch out. She really did, but you know what? I'm tired of what I. I, since I know long, I don't know why I always hated her. No, I didn't like Kuroko at the start. Mm-hmm. She, like, I actually disliked her, but then she grew on me. Um, I can't even remember why I didn't like her. 
for some reason, I just thought her attitude was like very obnoxious. Mm -hmm. And but now I like her. But now I'm also like, can can we stop watching her get her ass beat all the time? <laughs> she got fucked up. <laughs> like she always said, like, she always she either like win or lose, she's always getting fucked up. Like. Yeah, yeah, she got literally stabbed through the hand. <laughs> so stabbed through the hand, stab like scraped on her arm. Mm -hmm. Like, ugh, it's a it messy just... victory. It's a messy victory, but you take those. We do. I'm mean, yes. Yeah, I mean, home uh, other girl. She got, she got that uh, that Toma punch to mm -hmm. the face, and then she like teleported behind her and like. Kicked her in the head, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was half hoping that she would take out the knife from her hand and just, like, stab her. Yeah, just teleport in, mm -hmm. like, teleport to her throat or something. Mm -hmm. But, oh, yeah. Was fight was great, but I'm glad Shogaho also won. That was a very convoluted plan on her part. That was. And also really cool, because she's mm -hmm. like, damn, I can't win, so... How can I win? And so she's like, hmm, let me let me switch up that was actually very genius. I'm going to switch the my memories of what the activation and self destruct code are. Mm. Flip those around and forget that I did so. Erase the memories of me flipping them around in my head, mm. so that he can. Because I know I'm I'm probably going to lose, and then you know. Yeah, and then he'll blow himself he, up. He's going and blow himself up, and it was. And it was convincing because she didn't even know. <laughs> Fooling everyone, including yourself. Like, yep, including yourself. I love stuff like that. Yeah, it was really cool. Uh, this episode as a whole was, like I said, it, it makes me sad that Index Season 3 was not handled by this team because yeah. they do such a, much, a way better job at handling action and suspense and build up and all that stuff and payoff. And everything else. <laughs> and literally everything else. Uh, I'm not as interested in the Misaka fight, like the Misaka Toma. Me Toma not. Fight. Me neither. I love, I did like the design at, at the beginning where she, bitch, literally was like a sil silhouette of like the universe. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, that's kind of cool. Yo, at first when the episode started and it was like a pure recap, I was about to be like, oh, this is a recap episode. I ain't watching. Uh, me too, <laughs> bruh. It was literally like a fourth of the episode. Yeah, it was like five or six minutes of recap. And like at the three minute mark, I'm like, is this just a recap episode? But that was nuts. Don't start off your episodes like that, Tuaru. <laughs> yeah, that, I hope that's the last one we see. Oh my god, now watch every another. Well, you know, this is going to be on hiatus for a quick minute. It's going to be on hiatus for like what? Well, indefinite hiatus right now. Oh, is it indefinite? Yeah, I think oh, so. I think this is indefinite hiatus. Uh, I know it's delayed. I didn't know if it was indefinite or not. That's that's sad. Yeah, so it might be a while before we get our next two hour episode. So we might need a recap when that comes out. <laughs> right? Yeah. Actually, I'm like, actually, could you get it to us? Um, wait. Where is where is Swaru? Where is Swaru? It'd be wild if we got. Shokugeki's new episode next week, and then that week after we got to our and it kept like switching off every week. Uh, um, let's see. Um, the staff will later reveal when the 13th episode will air. Huh, I feel like I saw it. I feel like I saw the article and I can't find it. I saw it on Crunchyroll. There's like a little disclaimer thing on the page let me see it's, oh here it is here it is i found mm -hmm. it um has been delayed <laughs> we broadcast episode 13 blah 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 oh shit yeah they, they're they not giving a date yeah for episode 14 that well, might be a while who knows mm -hmm. yikes this is a, it's a weird time for anime now. It most definitely is. But unless that's all I have to say about this episode. Do you have anything else you want to nope. throw in there? I'm good. All right. Well, we'll see you when you come back again, Tuaru. We'll be waiting. Until yeah. then, 
If you guys enjoyed this podcast, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you can catch us every week as the podcast goes up. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, follow us on Twitch, and join the party over on our Discord, all linked in the description down below. If you want, you can even become a member of the channel or a patron, like all these lovely people on screen right now who make the show possible. And if you do, you get yourself some exclusively good perks like custom emotes, custom badges, access to our Midnight channel, which is our hidden Discord channel for members only, where we hang out all the time. You can also watch uh, some of these anime with us. We're currently watching Kaguya-sama every Sunday with our patrons. So if that's something that interests you, please do consider becoming a patron. And with that yeah. said, Drew. Yeah, do that. Like he said, because now we're... We are doing the live watching on uh, on Discord because I know y'all bitches be too lazy to download. Yeah, cast. you know what? We have to do cast anymore. We're doing yeah. uh, Discord because Discord actually. And, but you know what? Really I'm also easier. lazy, and this is very easy for us too. Mm-hmm. Also, sorry if I seem a little, you know, out of energy. The the heat and allergy combo is taking me <laughs> out. Like, oof. So yes, pray for Drew's heat and allergy related problems guys mm. and until next time this has been Soberoni and Drewy Doo we'll catch you guys next week later bye